everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a haul and it's going to be like just random things that I bought this week. The first thing I got is this um, twin organic sheet set from Target and it's a um, global organic textile standard and it's size twin and it's a teal color. Right, so I got some fabric softener. This is from Snuggle. I was sniffing all the fabric softeners in the entire store. I was at Target, by the way. This is all from Target. And I was like, oh my goodness, which one to choose? Some of them smelled disgusting, and I was like, oh no, not going to work. But this one smells like white lilac and spring flowers. I'm not sure about the white lilac, but spring flowers. I'm in a very springy mood. So, I love this stuff. It's the EOS um, Shave Cream. It's more expensive, but I feel like it's better for the environment somehow, or they probably market it that way, but whatever. It smells nice, and I feel like it's naturaler than the aerosol can thing. Yeah, and it's pomegranate raspberry, and I like the scent. It's nice, so good stuff. I like it. That's like my third bottle. And then I got some sunscreen, the Target brand, just because I feel like... Um, I don't need that much of a protection, only 30, because I got the 50 and I would not tan at all because I got the 50. So I'm going to try the 30. And I used to get that, um, the actual brand, what is it, Copper Tone or whatever. And I was like, eh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I love Target, so I'll get the Target brand because it's cheaper. And um, I don't need that strong of a coverage because I really want to get a tan this year or this summer. So I'm excited, and I got the two-pack because I might as well have some air freshener. Um, I'm excited because this one has peony in it, and anything peony I love. It's Soothing Waters, Peony, Flower, and Sandalwood. That sounds amazing. It's called Cool Serenity, and it's in my favorite color, so gotta love that. And um, I also got Neosporin because it's amazing. Oh, and I bought some shampoo. Do I have to go get it? Fine. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I also bought these um, shampoos and conditioners. They are amazing. I love Suave. This is the Rosemary Mint one, which I love. It's for normal hair, and I think it's incredible because it's only a dollar something. And um, for both, I'm really picky about scents. If you know me at all, I'm like super picky. I have to like smell everything in order to find the smell that I want, and I would actually buy anything based on the smell. Um, so, because I can't stand being around a scent if I don't like it. So, um, I love this. They work really well with my hair. Um, my roots get really oily like after a day or something, and this one kind of helps with that but also keeps my hair nice and smooth as well. Um, I wash my hair probably every three days, if, yeah, most likely, since I'm usually lazy. Sometimes I would wash it in two or something like that, or maybe even one, depending if I have an event or if I want to go somewhere and actually not be disgusting. But usually about three days, because that's how lazy I am. Okay, so this is a Jason Wu bag, and I'm trying to debate on whether I should keep it or not. It was $50, which is a bit pricey, and it is kind of white or cream colored, so it'll probably get dirty easy, but it has the two-tone. So what do you guys think? Should I keep this? You know I'm a serial returner. I mean, it fits my laptop, which I really like, and it's by Jason Wu. I mean, come on. But... I'm just like, am I going to get the use out of it? Because it's quite big and white. I love the compartments in it. Okay. See, it has the zipper, and then it has the side ones, and then your cell phone ones. And if it's my laptop, that's a huge thing for me. So next, I it's actually not from Abercrombie. It's from Gilly Hicks. I went yesterday after work or... Sorry, the day before yesterday. Whatever. But I got a swimsuit, guys! Oh, sorry. Look at how awesome. I love the color because all my swimsuits are actually kind of bluish. Or, yeah, bluish. So I was super excited to get this one. It's so cute. Look at that, guys. And 
then um, we got a good deal on these. They were 30% off, and then we had a coupon for 25% off. So basically, they were 50% off. So I'm super happy with them, and I love this color. I just saw this color, and I knew I wanted it. It was over for me. It for Gilly Hicks. Oh, and then um, I was shopping on Daily Look because of Blair. I love Blair. I'm obsessed with her. Um, that's Juicy Star 07, by the way. In case anyone doesn't know who she is, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. But she's amazing. And um, I bought these shoes from them. Um, I actually don't really recommend Daily Deal, da Daily Deal, Daily Look because I actually purchased a few other items but I actually had to return them because of quality issues. I was just like, this material is just not very good at all. Um, so I had to, um, I had to return it. It was just, the quality was just not there for what I was paying. Even though I got 40% off because of her discount. So I had to return that. And um, I, But I love these shoes. I think they're awesome. But I'm going to link um, a site where you can buy them um, by themselves without having to go through Daily Look. So I'll link them there. And then you can buy them there if you guys are interested. They're really inexpensive on the other side as well. So Yeah, um, it's by um, Cupid. And... Um, they're just a black velvet um, faux cheap leather, but it looks really nice. I like them a lot, and I love the chunky heels, so that's great. Um, this was a Forever 21 order, and I forgot to mention just a mini skirt because um, my old one is actually a size too big, and I've lost weight since then, so I was like, oh, I'll just get a new one, and it was only $8.50, so I thought it was cute. There's like some texture to it. I don't know if I can film it. There we go. Look at that texture. But um, this one is a dress. Um, cause I do kind of want to go to Vegas again, cause that was such a fun girls' night, and I thought maybe one day I'd do it again. And the donuts, of course. Um, this was eight eighty, so cheap. So um, it has this like mesh thing. Ooh. Anyways, um, and then it just uh, has a sweetheart neckline thing, and then it's really simple. Probably a hundred other girls will be wearing it, but whatever. And then, oh, the shirt, which is, um, I love these cowl neck things, and it makes me feel like a Grecian goddess, but it's a top, not a dress, so it would be a nice dress, though, huh? But, um, I, I love that, and it was really cheap, forgot how much, but I'll, I'll link it if I can. And then, also, we have um, some Avon goodies that I ordered on Leap Day. They had this thing where it was um, free shipping for $10 worth of stuff or um, more. So I was like, free shipping, yay! And so I got these Glimmer Stick Eyeliners. Um, this one is black. I got this other eyeliner, which is um, blue, so it'll make the whites of my eyes whiter. Sorry, so that's what it looks like swatched. So, I'm wearing it under my eyes now. But you can't really tell. So swatch is a black one as well. It's, um, it does stay on all day, but I feel like it could be darker. But here's the black. So yeah, I have a lipstick that I got from them. Actually, Tanya recommended this, and I thought it was super cool looking when she um, when she wore it in one of her videos. It has this like clear ring around it, and um, it doesn't smell like vanilla at all. I'm wearing it now. So I love that it doesn't smell like vanilla, and it's like my lip color, but better, you know? And then here's a swatch of it on my hand. The color that I'm wearing is called Guava. And last thing. Grits. Went to Costco and I saw these and it's like 15 like rolls or packets for like $8. <laughs> They're super addictive though, it's really bad, and I think that's contributed to my skin 
I don't know if you can see the blemishes up here. I had a huge pimple right here for the longest time. Mom is so lame. Like, she came home the other day and she was like, Oh, you have a pimple there. I'm like, no, sh ugh, obviously. Like, you don't need to point it out. It's on my face. I think I would know if it was there or not. Do you guys have issues with your moms? Don't make me jealous, please. Just tell me all the bad stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks to all the new subscribers that just randomly subscribed to my videos. I really appreciate it, and um, it makes making these videos even more fun, so thanks. And have a good day, and I'll see you next week. Bye! What time is it? Ah, oh, plenty of time. My skin's just not been good lately. So I was like, I'll wear glasses and get my hair up so that you guys will be distracted. <laughs> and a flat sheet, like for picnics, I guess. I don't know what people use that sheet for. Do you guys use that sheet? You know the one that's flat? Like, I'm Asian, okay? I don't know anybody that uses their flat sheet. What is the flat sheet for? Does anyone know? I should Google this. Anyways, do you guys use the flat sheet? Because I only use the one for the mattress, you know. Anyways, let me know. Am I the only one that doesn't use the flat sheet? Except if I'm like going to the beach and they don't like it and they know I'm burning candles and they'll yell at me because they think I'm going to die of suffocation because the candle's going to take all the oxygen out of my room. I know, ridiculous, but they're paranoid. It's just the way it goes. And so since I'm a serial returner, guys, like... I return everything. If I can buy it, I can return it, and usually I return half the stuff I buy just because I need extra time to think about it. Sometimes I know, like, I'll know what I want and I won't return it, but sometimes you just pass by the store and you see things like, you know when you get all prickly down there, or not down there, but like when you get prickly under here? It's just not that great of a feeling, so I love epilating that stuff off. I was gonna... I'm the only one in my family that uses air freshener, too. Uh, don't ask me why. I don't know why, but yes, I'm excited. This, and it's called Chalice of Roses. So I was like, you know, that'll be fun.